Welcome back, folks. We're gonna take a break from making money for a moment so you guys can actually have something a little more interesting. Uh, it's gonna be Lone Star. We'll, we'll talk to him. Uh... Hey, Flick. Your party. Rihanna's in a part your party. She has an illegal weapon. Um, attack? <laughs> Let's see. Forces to draw their weapons. Let's see if I can take them, folks. Ow. 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 Oh, I'm Rihanna. <laughs> we did not do a good job. Rihanna. So, I guess her gun that she has is uh, illegal? What was it? Gun is illegal. I see. It's bad. So, obviously, if you get into any Lone Star encounters, they might notice it. And they might ask you about it. You gotta keep that shit concealed, man. So, anyway, we're gonna go. Let's look at our notes real quick. Our tips and clues, since we are trying to figure out who killed my brother, or at least set him up. So, we have Caleb Brightmore. He actually is a Johnson in this area, in downtown Seattle. So, let's see if we can find him. I don't think he's in there. I would assume that he's in... Probably not in there either. Broom's not going to give me any hints. He's enjoying Doritos right now. Uh, I this... doubt he's in Fuji. <laughs> he's definitely not in Fuji. This is the... No, this is not the abandoned building. Perhaps here. It is a bar. Icarus Descending is a high-class restaurant in the elven part of downtown. You have heard many times how culturally biased the management is toward humans, something only a prestigious establishment can get away with. A burly elven bouncer stands guard out the door. Would uh, you like to go in? Are you looking for some information? Or buy? I'm, I'd like to go in. The elven bouncer looks you over with obvious contempt, then gazes at your elf companion. Normally we frown on breeders here, but since you're with family, I guess we can seat you. He just wants to look at her more. <laughs> Spumbler, if you don't have an elf in your party right now, he wouldn't have let you in. Well, there you go. And it didn't cost us a damn thing. I'm guessing he's in the usual location. Two elven bodyguards, so cybered and wired, they hum, block your passage to the darkened booth. You decide that this is not the appropriate time to make friends or enemies and move on, meaning you can't talk to him yet. Of course. They're too busy humming. <laughs> That's why this place doesn't let you in, normally. Well, uh, when, when you can when you can actually talk to him, they'll let you in normally. Well, there's which, one other lead we got, but which is why you know I do like that feature in the game of how the elves will let you you know people in if they realize you're with an elf. Of course. Well, anyway, we have one other lead. Let's actually look at our pocket secretary so I can just show you. Yeah. So our tips and clues. Boris Arasco is a small time fixer. You you'll remember him. We've done done some package jobs for him. We brought him some fixins. Well, let's go talk to him. Maybe he knows. That is the greenhouse. Maybe? No, that must be him. Greenhouse, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Boris. For some reason, I don't think of a fixer in a greenhouse. The only illumination in the greenhouse comes from the dirty skylights, casting strange shadows. Seeing at a cluttered desk is a wisp of a man hiding under a very large hat. Come on in. Just lost your cred stick before you start and just slot your cred stick. Slot your cred stick. <laughs> really? <laughs> I was too busy doing the voice. Just slot your cred stick before we start talking. Mo time is money, chum. Well, what's your story, chummer? I think we've already asked you this. It'll cost you a hundred million to find out. Boris awaits expectantly. Do you pay? Yes, we do. My name is Boris Arasco, at your service. I'm a fixer, which means that if you want something, I can fix it up for you to get it. With the proper monetary motivation, of course. I request that one thing from you. I've served time in Hollywood, so I would appreciate it if you kept our business tra transactions to yourself. Alright, well I guess I'm looking for more information. What items actually do you have to offer? Give me a hint about your needs, chum. Are you looking for some equipment or firepower? Uh, how about equipment? So let's see. I'm a little short at the moment. I have a couple of items in good supply. I've got some excellent for forgeries of wilderness uh, passports for a hundred or a thousand million, and level two Madlock passkey for a 
10G union. Union, there. What a maglock, what, to explain what a maglock uh, is. Maglocks come from level 2 to level 5 within this game. And essentially a magnetic lock, which requires you to have the proper credentials to get through, which you'll never have. So essentially, uh, the maglock passkey, this level 2 here, allows you to bypass all level 2 or below maglocks. But there's no maglock passkey or lock below level 2. So you'd only be able to bypass level 2 maglocks with that passkey. I see, that's great. Whereas something like a level 3 or a level 4 or a level 5 maglock passkey would allow you to bypass all of those and the ones below it. I gotcha. Well, that's easy enough. And of course, uh, they're not used up on a single maglock, are they? Or a single... uh... Not used up. They're they're in your inventory. They're also, you know, illegal. (laughs) Of course, everything fun's illegal. Just like in real life. Anyway, uh, let's go back. Take it back. I'm not done with you. All right, I'm looking for some information, Chummer. Information is a commodity like anything else. I charge a flat fee of 500 million for all my info. And of course, the money's up front. So hack up a fee and I'll spill it all I know. Well, easy money, Chummer, I'll pay. Boris reaches the, for the neon. Or he uh, watches the neon roll off your cred stick. You can do that? Apparently you can. Oh, that gives that me that warm, fuzzy feeling all over. You just ask me anything you want to know now. Well, uh, tell me what you know about my brother, Michael. It's just occurred to me that your brother was in here just a while back. He came in using the name Owlfeather. Really? Though I never believed that was really his name. He didn't look like the shaman type to me. I believe they bought a few high-powered weapons, which also led me to not believe he was a shaman, and lots of ammo and a four-wheel drive truck. I can't acquire one of those if you'd like one. Anyway, I wouldn't have thought twice about it until some Renraku hotshot started a bird dog. Really, I don't even know what that is. Never seen a suit... Never seen the suit before. He came looking for your brother. Essentially, a bird dog would be like a ruckus. You know, you can use context clues. I gotcha. He had lots of hired protection, and he looked like the most dangerous of the bunch. His name was Mako Socho. He applied some pressure, and I didn't give up your... I didn't give up your bro, I swear. Don't hurt me. Don't put those claws into me, sir. I didn't know nothing, except they would have bought, of course. Mako must have gotten more info elsewhere. Uh, thanks? Oh, boy. <laughs> Your mind mo- mulls over this new information as you turn to leave. You're startled back to reality as a Rinraku strike team breaks into the greenhouse. I wasn't going to spoil this one for what you. What the fuck? Are you guys following me? Uh, they're just following me. I'm doing all the work tracking down my brother and they're covering it up as I do it. You can try yeah. to kill me. <laughs> then you would have no problem. Uh, oh, it's funny you should mention that. <laughs> oh, really? Ah! They are aiming for Boris, who attempts to run for cover. The leader seems to recognize you and immediately instructs the team to take you down instead. Oh shit. Oh shit, indeed. Oh, you're just like i 5 Okay. Get him. Let's use a med pack. Let's use a med pack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't use those. Instead, uh, go select Rihanna. Okay. She should have a trauma patch. Oh, damn it. Okay, trauma patch, sim patch, trauma patch. There's, there's trauma. Now go ahead and use that on Joshua. That heals a flat 20%. I see. Whereas the med kit actually is affected by your biotech rating, and none of you have good biotech, I don't think. So you can go ahead and keep using the trauma patch, or you can fight. Fight. You and Rihanna selected your shooting! Oh. Sorry, Rihanna. You damn fool! Keep punching! I now, there you go! You were actually strong enough to survive that Rinraku strike team. I didn't know whether you were. <laughs> of course you didn't. Now, you, go, you can go visit Boris again. Is it him? Oh. Is yeah, he's still him? alive. I was gonna go get patched up first. Boris appears to be much more nervous now that he has survived the Renraku strike team attack. He doesn't let it get in the way of business, though, of course. Cynthia, thanks for the save, chum. You ca- uh, you gave me the distraction I needed to hop out back. So sit down and slot up. 
A guy's gotta make a living, you know. Of course, <laughs> he just fucking sits right back up. Ask information about David Owlfeather. Okay, tell me about Owlfeather now. That ranger who patrols the wilderness? Oh, you won't get to see him unless you uh, get a visa, of course. Which I have plenty in stock. Rarely sees that Indian village he's stationed at, but he's okay. He leaves. Not yeah, seen. rarely he leaves the Amat Indian village they station at, but he's okay. I'm sorry, whenever I'm reading this and doing the commentary, for some reason my mind just cannot read ahead anymore. <laughs> it's just your effect on my growth, although I really don't have that. I still have the same problem whenever I'm doing it in like other games like Superhero League of Aboken. But anyway, it's his brother who's the real dreckhead. Brother? I said brother. Oh yes, Aragon. He's a fragging, arrogant punk, and also a dragon. <laughs> Although I think that was actually... No, that's Aragon. <laughs> Either way, he's still a dragon. <laughs> hey, there could be dragons in Shadowrun. Are there dragons, Grimoth? Yes. Okay. Well, yes, he is they're most dragons. assuredly a dragon. <laughs> By the way, Aragorn. So he's he's not a dragon. He's Vigo Mortison. I gotcha. Anyway. <laughs> I don't care for him none, but I gotta make money. Last time... He was here. He was shooting his mouth off about taking on some big corp for one of the Johnsons around here. Brother? <laughs> Again? <laughs> Haven't seen him since. Hmm. Doesn't feel too bad about it either. Uh, though I do miss the creds. I guess that's all I got then. It, that's that's it. The only thing that you could talk about is like the weapons that he has to sell, but it's nothing you're interested in, of course, because you don't use them. I was going to say, I already have the best weapon now, I will ever have in the game. <laughs> now, if you check out your tips and clues section, you'll notice that it has diversified quite a bit now. Okay, well, let's take a look, folks. You've got, Caleb. of course, the Caleb Nightmare Nightmore page. You have the Owl Feather guy. You can visit him. I must acquire a visa first, though. Right. You can uh, you can buy a legal visa if you don't have a criminal record for 500 New Yen at the passport office, the P building. Otherwise, you'd have to obtain transportation another way or buy an illegal visa. I was going to say, do I have a crime record? Do they know how many people I've killed with these spurs? Um, how many ghouls? I bet you do. <laughs> it's like... There's Aragorn, only one way Al to find out. <laughs> Aragorn, bro Alfeller's brother, uh, that basically gives you the context for that, was quite vocal around town about taking a corporation for a local Johnson. He has not been seen since. And Rinraku has been harassing Boris after Michael had visited him to purchase equipment for his run, and Mako Socho, which, of course, is another lead for you. Okay, so I have to hook up with Mako sometime in the future. Either way, there's some plot, folks. A little diversity before we make more money. We gotta make more money, folks. We're not gonna be able to afford visas if we don't make money. Yep. And uh, now I'll actually explain this in sort of like a mechanical aspect. Uh, Lethal has some dim process of this because he's watched me play the game before. But for anyone who hasn't seen the game before, at this point, uh, Shadowrun, the main plot diverges into three different branches you can explore. All right, so let's so, go ahead and do our usual thing. For example, I actually think you can go visit Caleb right more now for realsies. Of course. Yeah. Do, do I want to do it with this low health? <laughs> he, he won't kill you, I'll say that. <laughs> okay, let's do this and then we'll go see him. Yeah. You I, basically have to get far long enough in the main quest, which basically means talking to Boris Arasco. Of and course. you're free to clear him. Before that, uh, he's not heard of you being here, so you're not allowed to come in. Of course. I haven't made my mark yet. Gotcha. And, and, and as I explained, uh, you wouldn't have been being able to walk in there at all if you did not have an elf companion. Of course. He is the highest end Mr. Johnson in the entire game. He doesn't pay the best. That's uh, that's PV and J there in the War Garble Barons. But uh, he is high end. And we are just smoking this system, folks. It's probably pretty small. In fact, I think I've seen this diagram before. Yes, of course you have. This is, <laughs> this is where you initially made the money. <laughs> yep. Which means you are not going to be... You're going to be a barrier, yes. Yes, yes. Throw a boomerang at you. The data store behind it, which I think is where you need to go on this run, has access one. Well... What? We're not doing that run, though, Grimmel. We're just going to get money. Did I, use a, did I run a passcode? You, you... 
and I didn't realize it? I thought I searched for a system. I thought you were on the run. <laughs> I thought you clicked run passcode. There you go. Upload file to the data store. Run accomplished. Well, fantastic. I wasn't even trying to do this. Let's transfer the datas. Or maybe you did a system search and ended up randoming in here again, as if it were fate. <laughs> Only the people watching this video know, Grimoth. Because they can rewind. We can't rewind life. <laughs> if life had save states the world would be a very different place. Everyone would be winners. Not everyone, Lethal. Oh, that's all the junk we can store. Walmart wouldn't be a winner, Lethal. <laughs> Walmart wouldn't be. <laughs> Unless they could sell save states. Guess My I'm God. ready to pull the plug. That's right, you only had three files. Let's see if they're worth anything. That's worth something. Well, that's yeah. worth something. Not bad. 3,800? Shiny bucks. Shiny bucks, not shadow bucks? Shiny bucks, yep. Okay, let's see what random systems we get. Oh, yeah, we were going to see, uh, not Boris, Caleb. Caleb Brightmore, yep. Uh, He's an Icarus him. descending. He's by Seattle General Hospital. We could get healed up. But I don't have the money to get healed up, Grimoth. <laughs> Is that so? I don't believe you. I know. I see those five digits on your cred stick. Yes, I do. Whoop. For some reason, <laughs> <You're> I... <right. laughs> Just walk right past the door. Okay, I'm in need of your services. Medical yep. attention, please. Thank you. As I am. And that's the place where you'd want to buy dermal plating. But we don't want to get that. We're going to try to go for three shots of wired reflexes. Like to just make me unstoppable, essentially, hey. if I can get to them. Hey, Mom, I'd like to go in. How does it feel to have friends in high places? Hurry up and go on in. You're scaring away the good folk who belong here. Yes, yes, I'm scared away <laughs> all the high flute elves. Yep. In the dark booth, you see a well-dressed elf. Two bodyguards flank him. They seem ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. I'm Caleb Brightmore. I know you're looking for me, and sad to say, I also know why. I'm truly sorry about your brother's death. He was a good friend. Really? Mm. I don't believe you, Mr. Johnson. Mm. Is that fact? Ours is a dangerous business. Too dangerous of late. Tell me about Michael's last shadow run. Oh, I guess you could have read that, couldn't you? I could have. Tell me about Michael's last shadow run, Caleb. Or <laughs> Michael's mission was to seek out a specific cave for an interested party. Sadly, I don't know much more than that. They were warned of the dangers in traveling through the wilderness, but ambushes aren't part of your typical forest. Tell me more, Caleb. His team was traveling on restricted lands when they were killed. As a result, the scene of the crime was closed to me. I believe the official cause was listed as death from superior firepower. Cause that's what they have in obituaries. Tell me more. As to who, <coughs> as to who's behind all these Doritos in Grimace's mouth. Again, I know very little. I was only the agent in his final contract. I received my orders from an elf named Frosty. Frosty. What? <laughs> who in turn took orders from someone else. Alas, nothing is ever as simple as it appears. I have been unable to learn more about her despite repeated attempts, and I'm an elf. A high-end Johnson in this fucking video game. I'm the biggest Johnson you'll ever witness. As my reputation is not to bite the hand that feeds me, I would suggest you seek her out, because you're new and dumb. I know she spends a lot of time in the War Gerbil Baron, so you might seek her out there. That is all I can tell you regarding your brother. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, let's see what kind of work you'll give us. I just want to see what it is. Well, oh, I already have a job. Sorry. How's he know? Mr. Johnson's do not step on each other's toes. <laughs> I was going to say, how they know it? Is there like a Craigslist for Johnson's? So, uh, so there you go. There's your, uh, your, your, your branching path there. You're told to seek out an elf named Frosty who spends time in the War Garble Barrens. Well, we'll definitely seek her out eventually. But first, money. Actually, not money because Joshua cannot acquire money. He is not a money maker. You're not gonna turn in your run, oh my god. Well, I mean, we could get more money real quick. Let's see what we get from a <laughs> random system. He's addicted, everyone. <laughs> He's addicted to Nuyen. He loves the feeling of it rolling on his cred stick, man. I do, man. It sloshes around on there, the shadow Slosh? bucks. <laughs> sloshes? That is not what happens. That is what happens. It's, 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 it's liquid memory. They have that here. 
It's more effective because it fills up all the space on the crate stick. See? I know because I'm a... <laughs> I know because I'm an airplane grimmer. <laughs> wow, CPUs all the way on the other side of the solar system. True? Is that true? Is that where it is, Lethal? Yes! It's in the Oort Cloud, Grimmoth! I will throw a boomerang cloud, at you. your airplane. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I upgraded. <laughs> I'm now a, uh, a space shuttle PD. <laughs> oh, don't you be doing that. That's rude. Don't you be passive alert alerting me. You're gonna hit with lightning. Eventually. Or maybe a laser beam. Wow, this thing is really tough. It has little red pixels on it. It could be a red one. Boom. There you go. Oh, come on, Rihanna. Oh, great. Now it's pissed. What'd you do? Uh-oh. I don't need... It ate my shit. It ate it permanently. That's a tar pen. Ah, oh, horse crud. Yep, you'd have to repurchase the attack program from scratch. You can't deceive it either. <laughs> no, you can't. Try. <laughs> uh, right. Let me try a different strategy here. Maybe it won't activate if I actually get rid of it first. Or, you know, before it gets to alert status. I'll just concentrate on firing laser beams. The tar pit only activates if you fail. Don't fail. E even, even it's on active alert. So long as you don't fail, it won't activate. Rihanna, don't you fail. Now, the reason the alerts are so dangerous are because the the interactive, or rather the intrusionary countermeasure becomes harder whenever the system's been alerted. I see. Now, now it's two levels higher than what it normally is because there's an active alert. So it's easier to fail. Like you just saw. Okay, let's get out of here and get another run so we can get an easy system that Rihanna can actually tackle with her current gear. We are going to get a new cyber deck. That's our next purchase we're going to get. Joshua, you lead the way. Please. But lethal. It's cheaper to buy wired reflexes than it is to buy a new cyber deck. Yeah, but why reflexes don't get us money? You know what? Let's see if these are actually grenades. They're actually grenades. Holy shit. Now I got illegal shit, Grimoth. Oh, well. Rihanna and your party, you had illegal shit anyway. <laughs> well, now I personally have illegal shit. Yes. Oh, hello. <laughs> you look like a... <laughs> I've seen your face before, like sir. Like Vigor, yes. I was going to say Vigor. Vigor, Vigore Amici. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Vigore. That's Vigore. Um, oh. Ow. I'll help. Help. It's uh, a vampire. Uh, it's a goddamn vampire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I enter the big rhino. <laughs> You're like, help, oh, vampire. They're like, let's have them in. Uh, Mars? It's okay. It's It's fine. Well, he, he, he's, he has a life, too, you know. I've never seen him move. <laughs> he's so majestic. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't you kick me out. Oh, come on. We've been through this whole shtick before. Come on. You know what I want. More allowance. I require more allowance, Blaz. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. Why don't you have what I need, Mortimer Reed? Hmm? It even rhymes. You should have it. Need more Reed. Wow, that is a very long one. I don't need to discuss a fee, though. That's dumb work. We're dumb. <laughs> That's a very long read I need. <laughs> Mr. Reed. And let's see. Hey, Mr. Johnson. I mean, my penis. <laughs> my penis is giving me shadow runs. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> I think you need to see a doctor. <laughs> 
<laughs> go into the office. My penis is giving me shadow. <laughs> what do? <laughs> uh, you could you could stay home today. <laughs> this is the boss. <sighs> oh Jesus fucking Christ. Uh. No, no, no. You don't understand me, Mortimer Reed. I said I want more allowance. No, more allowance. Why won't you give me more allowance? Give it. I'm getting tired. So tired. <laughs> all this walking around. I'm usually just laying back while Rihanna does all the work making money. On the corner. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Give it. Oh, the excitement, folks. Oh, the fucking excitement. Chatterun? No. No. Dumb. If I'd just not been dumb, we could have easily gotten it. Hey, there you go. I couldn't do that. Almost press B. <laughs> Almost press B. Okay, let's go pick up Rihanna Wee! again. You're like, no, give it, give it back. He's like, nope, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone I forever. It. The seed's been reset. I eaten it. No! <laughs> Why did you eat it? You didn't want it, Joshua. You said so. No! My Johnson, <laughs> my Johnson gave me shower runs and then he eated it. <laughs> no, I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. I got away. No, I didn't get away. Ow. And you ran towards them. You fool. What have you done? They shot you. Those Lone Star guys are pretty good shots. <laughs> okay. Lone Star is a mega corporation that has a contract with the city of Seattle itself to provide their security. They're trained to be good shots, lethal. No, I just want to get out. Okay, let's go. You're on. like, I don't have frag grenades. They're not... That lethal. <laughs> oh. See ya. He looked rather pleased now that you were leaving. Yes, he did. Lethal. <laughs> Ow. Stop it. Stop it. I, I think made... one of them shot the other one. <laughs> mm. Ow. He didn't shoot the other one that time. They, they move pretty goddamn fast, don't they? <laughs> They're pretty quick. Rada, where are you? Are you in here? Send you help. You found love match to Yes, you did. <laughs> There you go, there's your money. I got shot. I keep getting shot. Rihanna, girl, we need to make more money. If he turns, use it closer. 630. Shut him out. I gonna say, I could get you for a little longer next time. Yep, next time. <laughs> All right, I think Lone Star is off the case. All right. <laughs> we can only hope. Also, I should get those, uh, those patches from you real quick. Do you do don't that? have to carry them. You, you could have her carry them. I guess. I guess. Okay, anyway. Back into the Matrix. Okay. I mean, if she's going to be your friend forever, then it doesn't matter. She's my little money maker, <gasps> so I don't it, think she's going anywhere. It's Plus, a blue sand. Is it going to be the same system, everyone? Oh, no. Nope. I think this was the first uh, simple run that you actually had lined up. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, let's go ahead and get in here then. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Denied. Come on, Rihanna. There you go. And I think the data store you're looking for is the top one. You'll see what I mean. It's the orange one, I think. Hmm. And that's probably where you want to go. I don't remember the exact text from the, uh, the Johnson. Why are you trying to cancel the alert? There is no alert. It's not Just real. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> the alert is not real. Yes. Rejected? Don't you reject me. No. We've been over this before. Okay. I am a open office writer file. <laughs> Here we go again. Yep. It's <laughs> one of the me with open office. There you go. Uh, okay, let's see if this is the one. No, it's not, but it's orange! Sweet! Take it! Take your money! Local accounts? Sure. I'm taking your money! Look, more local accounts, now I'm with 50. Them. I'm still taking it! So yeah, that's 11. Yeah. Come on. 
It's 110. <laughs> 110. My mind. Well, that's all you can fit. Really that low? I, you could fit a 20. Eh, let's 20. not waste everyone's time. Let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so We've you already wasted all their time. <laughs> uh, Wait, Derek. I'm back, Roscoe. 24. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. I think that's a good note to end the video. <laughs>